so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We are asked to add or subtract the rational expressions. In order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must have a common denominator or like denominators. And notice for both of these examples, we do. In order to add or subtract rational expressions with like denominators or common denominators, we simply add or subtract the numerators and the denominators remain the same. So for this first sum, notice how we already have a common denominator of eight. When we determine the sum, the denominator remains eight and we add the numerators, which gives us the quantity 5x plus 1 plus the quantity 3x plus 3 in the numerator. And now we combine the like terms in the numerator. 5x plus 3x is 8x, and 1 plus 3 is 4. The numerator simplifies to 8x plus 4, and the denominator remains 8. Now we need to be careful here. We cannot simplify the 8s here because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. In order to simplify here, we must first factor the numerator. Remember, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 8x plus 4 is 4. If we factor 4 from 8x, we're left with 2x. If we factor 4 from 4, we're left with 1, giving us plus 1. If we factor 4 from 8x plus 4, we're left with a factor of 2x plus 1. And if it's helpful, we can write the denominator of 8 as 4 times 2. This shows there is a common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. And four divided by four simplifies to one, and therefore the simplified rational expression is the quantity two x plus one divided by two. For the second example, when we subtract, the denominator remains x plus four. The numerator is the quantity three x plus 28 minus x squared. If there are no like terms in the numerator, let's write the terms in descending order. Because we have minus x squared here, that's equivalent to negative x squared, and then we'd have plus 3x plus 28. The denominator is still the quantity x plus 4. And now we need to try to factor the numerator, but it's much easier to factor when the leading coefficient is positive, not negative. So let's factor a negative from the numerator. If we factor a negative or negative one from each term in the numerator, it will change the sign of each term, which gives us in the parentheses x squared minus three x minus 28. And again, all of this is over the quantity x plus four. And now let's factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The terms in the second positions are the factors of negative 28 that add to negative three. Because negative seven times positive four is negative 28, and negative seven plus four is equal to negative three, the two factors we need are negative seven and positive four, which means one factor is x minus seven, and the other is x plus four. Notice how we can simplify now because there's a common factor of x plus four between the numerator and denominator. X plus four divided by x plus four simplifies to one, so the simplified difference is equal to the opposite of the quantity x minus seven, which is acceptable, but let's also write this by clearing the parentheses. If we have the opposite of the quantity x minus seven, we can think of this as negative one times the quantity x minus seven. If we distribute negative one, we have negative one x or negative x, and then negative one times negative seven is positive seven, giving us plus seven. We could also express the simplified difference as negative x plus seven. We can also rewrite this though with the constant term first. Negative x plus seven is equivalent to seven minus x. Any of these three ways are acceptable to express the simplified difference. I hope you found this helpful.